Hello, Diecast fans, and welcome to another brand new episode of Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars. Now, to be honest with you folks, I thought I was done with unboxings for the month of March, but just yesterday, I had a, well, a very surprising and surprisingly affordable haul, for the most part. Right? First model from that haul I'd like to present is this beautiful Matchbox 2021 Cadillac CT5V a car which I believe is also known as the Black Wing. Okay, let's get on with the unboxing. Those of you who have been following the channel will probably notice that while I've never unboxed a Cadillac here on this show before, and truth be told, I don't even know that much about this car other than that it's a, uh, it's a BMW M5 competitor. It is pretty. It is... Apparently a super saloon of some sort meant to compete with the likes of the M5 and the Mercedes E63. And let's have a look at the real car. Oh, that's very, very nice work by Matchbox. This car is also a featured car in my mobile game, Real Racing 3, and darn. It's got some really awesome specs. So what do I think of this car? The Matchbox. Well, like I said, I'm not I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of the real car, so I don't I don't feel particularly invested, but I got to say, you know, as as a as a first-time buyer of Cadillacs, well, Matchbox Cadillacs anyway. Well, I quite like it. I like it. The wheels look a little bit out of scale. But you know what? That's okay. So I don't really have any points for comparison here. I don't have any M5 uh, diecast uh, cars or E63 ones at this scale, or any scale for that matter. And well, I think this is really cool. I think it was a good choice for Matchbox to produce this. I said though, just looking at the Real pictures, I think the wheels are just a little too big. So, but I have no real problems with it. Although maybe, maybe they could have given the rear wing a nice black trim. After all, this is the black wing, quote unquote. So what do I think of it? Well, let's see, solid new casting, very pretty. So I'll give her an 8.5 out of 10. Okay, made a pretty good first impression on me. Maybe I'll pick up more uh, Cadillac sometime in the future, I don't know. But this was a good one. Okay, and that's it for this episode, the first of the pretty uh, gratifying haul that I just had. So stick around, there's more to come. And for those of you who just got here, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe and hitting that notification bell.